The three biggest problems people have on creating a YouTube banner are knowing where to safely place text, avoid image cropping, and removing the background of photos. I'll show you how to fix these issues and more. To create a design that will show up well on all devices, you'll want to use grid lines. So when you're creating the banner, you know where the cutoff points are. Canva is the best tool for this, but don't use one of their templates. Many of their templates will look like this or this when you upload them to your channel. Start with a blank design and then add the four grid lines, creating this primary banner space or safe space that shows up on all devices. Click on File and then hover over Settings and then click on Show Rulers and Guides. You can also just hit Shift R to turn them on or off. To add the grid lines, simply drag them from the edge of your design where the rulers are at the top and left and place the lines over top of your design. Don't worry, these aren't going to show up when you download the design. Let's start with the two vertical lines, one at 2053 and the other at 507. For the two horizontal lines, you want one at 508 and the other at 932. This middle area is your primary banner space. This is what will show up on a phone and on every other screen. The two side areas get included when you move up to a computer and the top and bottom will only appear on a TV. So you'll want to put everything important within this rectangle. You can include designs, images, and text in other parts of your banner, but most channel visitors aren't going to see them. Let's quickly walk through creating this banner. To start, I'll change the background color, then add a photo of me and then remove the background of this image. To do so, you can either use Canva Pro, the paid version, you can get a 30 day free trial or use Adobe Express to remove the background for free and just export the photo from Adobe Express and then add it to your Canva banner. If you don't wanna deal with any of this, you can use the free version of Canva, which will let you create one of these circular frames to create something like this. It's not my favorite, but it's totally up to you. I know it's a lot of work to get started on YouTube, consistently creating good content and growing your channel. One of the most important parts of this process is deciding which videos to make and creating the scripts for those videos. That's why we created a course on script writing with AI for YouTube. To find out more, check out the link in the description. Then I'll add a logo, a tagline explaining the type of content we create on the channel, as well as how frequently we plan to publish so people know what they're signing up for when they subscribe to the channel. Once you're happy with your design, you can download it from Canva and upload it to your channel. Here, YouTube shows you what's viewable on all devices, a computer, and on a TV. I would also double check by opening up your channel on a computer and phone to make sure everything is showing up like you wanted it to. I went through this tutorial pretty quickly. If this is the first time you're using Canva and you want to better understand all of its functionality, watch our Canva tutorial for beginners up above. Or if you want to see all the AI tools that we use to help us consistently create YouTube videos, watch this video down below. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye bye.